it's Stephanie and my page is Shimmer Simply. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. And I did a look with the beautiful Makeup Geek Palette in Pumpkin Spice using a new Gerard Cosmetics lip. And if you want to know how I got this look, just keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up, write a comment, and Without further ado, here we go. First, I'm going to prime my face. I am using the Master Prime by Face Studio, Maybelline. I've been doing this instead of moisturizer in the morning because it is also a primer and a moisturizer. It makes my skin feel very moisturized. And then you can use whatever moisturizer you want for the evening. Next, I'm using my new favorite foundation. It's the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour. It says 24 hour foundation. And I'm using the shade 130 in buff beige. And you can see on my hand here, when I put it on there, it stays in place. So I like to do my foundation first because it also primes my eyes at the same time. I'm using a Morphe um, 439 brush. I'm still going to prime my eyes, even though I put a little bit of foundation on there. I purchased my First Sigma product. It is the eyeshadow base primer in the shade Persuade. And that girl she, uh, Shay, that girl Shay XO. I'll link her down below. She's the one who made me, influenced me in this purchase. And I'm just gonna rub it on the top. I like it so you don't have to mess up your fingers, but I do anyway, but it's not as bad as like a pot of um, primer that I usually use. I'm going to set my eye area using the NYX banana powder. It's really finishing powder, but it's in the shade banana. Today I'm using the beautiful Makeup Geek Pumpkin Spice Palette. These are the col colors. It's so beautiful. Um, I'm going to go in first with a nice fluffy brush. I'm going to use this corner shade called Buff. I'm going to put that all over my eyes. Next, going in with a fluffy brush, but a little more defined, I am going to use the color Early Bird. I'm going to put that in the crease as a transition shade and using windshield wiper motions. Next, I'm going to go in with a more denser brush. I'm going to use the color Jack-O-Lantern. That is for this, special for this palette. And I feel like it has to do with Halloween. Let me know in the comments below if Halloween, if you like Halloween and if you decorate, what do you decorate with? I am going to start decorating this weekend. I'm gonna go back in with this orange because I wanna bring it up a little bit more. Next, I'm going to go in with a nice crease brush. I'm going to use this dark color. It is called Coco Bear. And I'm just going to start tapping it lightly, getting it into the crease. And sometimes my eyes look like they're going down, so to try to make them wider, open up and go up, I'm going to bring it up. Okay, next I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and put it for a cut crease. 
halfway. Oops, I got some up there. I'm just going to spread it in there. It's fine, see? And then go back in and do the other eye. Okay, next I am going to spray the Fix Plus, and I'm going to use the shade in the center. It's called Untamed. Place it right on top of the concealer. And again, you'll see that there's a little bit of concealer up in the area and it happens. We're all not perfect, right? So I'm just gonna rub it in with the brush I was using for the orange. It happens. Okay. Then I am going to go into the shade here. It's called Curtain Call. I'm going to dip that in and put it in between Untamed and Cocoa Bear. Then taking that first brush, I use the big fluffy brush. I'm just going to blend it all together. Okay, and then I'm going into my BH Cosmetics palette. I'm going to use this shade down here um, for the highlight shade. And then using this shade here for the inner corner highlight. One more just overall look. Okay, next I'm going into with the Gerard Cosmetics Eyeliner. I will link it down below. You can also use the code SHIMMER and that will give you 30% off. Okay, next I'm going to do my eyebrows. This is the CoverGirl in Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Rich Brown. And when I do my eyebrows, I make the bottom line, go up to where the arches and go around. And then I will do the top line. Again, go up to the arch. And then go down. And then I will just fill it in. And then the same on the other side. And again, I will. Using a pencil brush, I'm going to take um, Cocoa Bear that's, and I'm going to go on the uh, under eye. Taking my Shoe You Mirror Eyelash Curler. Actually, I'm going to go back in with my brow powder, foolproof from Benefit. And I'm going to fill in my brows a little bit more. So my eyebrows are being like extra crazy today. So now we're gonna take the Age Rewind Concealer put it under my eyes. I'm also going to put it over my eyebrows on the top because 
they need to be um, defined more. And I have a problem area around my lips. So I'm gonna put some there. Taking my Real Techniques Beauty Spot. I'm actually going to spray it with Fix Plus so it's a little bit damp. I always get foundation in my hair. It's unreal. Using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. It's in the shade Light Medium. I turn it upside down. I get some out. And I'm going to set my face. With that. Using the Maybelline Master Bronze Face Studio. Using the, I'm going to use the third um, color to bronze and a little bit of contouring. And just warm up my face. Taking the blush palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm going to actually use this color right here in the corner. It kind of re reminds me of the eyeshadow shade in the palette. Oh, too much, too much. Make sure you shake the excess, excess off. Excess. Because it really um, comes out. Using the same palette for highlighter, I'm going to take the second shade. Because I'm just going to family dinner tonight. Actually, I'm going to take the outside shade. The second shade was a very uh, highlightery. I'm going to use the Lash Paradise Voluminous Mascara. I'm going to set using ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. I'm going to set my crazy eyebrows. You can see it's a little bit white, but it dries clear. Using the Gerard Cosmetics, um, the Hydra Matte in the shade Everything Nice. It's the first time I'm trying these. I really like these. I want to get another color. Again, you can use the code SHIMMER and you would get 30% off. And I'm going to use the um, Prep and Prime to set my face. And that's my final look. I hope you like it. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Write me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, this is the beginning of my journey. I don't know if I should keep going or what to do. So I'd appreciate a comment in the comments below. And I will see you, hopefully, in another one.